students students as you already know we are doing chapter number 3 fractional numbers and today we will discuss the question number 2 of exercise 3.2 so let's start exercise 3.2 question number 2 write next five equal fractions of the given each fraction students in this question some fractions are given and we have to write next five equal fractions of these fraction so let's start a part fraction is 1 by 2 means one part out of two equal parts two is our denominator and one is our numerator students i have a circular shape which is divided into four equal parts and out of which two parts are colored now students compare these two circular shapes are these shapes equivalent to each other yes these shapes are equivalent to each other two parts out of four equal parts means 2 by 4 now students tell which which number will i multiply 1 by 2 to get 2 by 4 yes which number 2 1 by 2 multiply 2 by 2 Now, students, one by one multiply two is equal to two, and two multiply two is equal to four, and fraction is two by four. First equivalent fraction is two by four. Students, I have a circular shape which is divided into six equal parts, and out of which three parts are colored. Now, students, compare these three circular shapes. Are these shapes equivalent to each other? Yes, these shapes are equivalent to each other. Now, students, three parts out of six equal parts means three by six. Now, students, tell with which number will I multiply one by two to get three by six? Yes, with number three. One by two multiply three by three is equal to. Three by six. Now, students, next equivalent fraction is three by six. Now, students, I have a circular shape which is divided into eight equal parts, and out of which four parts are colored. Now, students, again compare these shapes. Are these shapes equivalent to each other? Yes, these shapes are equivalent to each other. Now, students, four parts out of eight equal parts means four by eight. Now, students, tell with which number will I multiply one by two to get four by eight? Yes, I will multiply one by two with number four. One by two multiply four by four. One multiply four is equal to four. Two multiply four is equal to eight. Four by eight, and our next equivalent fraction is four by eight. Students, I have a circular shape, which is divided into ten equal parts, and out of which five parts are colored. Now, students, again compare these five shapes. Are these shapes equivalent to each other? Yes, these shapes are equivalent to each other. Five parts out of ten equal parts means five by ten. Now, students, tell with which number will I multiply one by two to get five by ten? Yes, I will multiply one by two with number five. One by two multiply five by five. Is equal to five by ten. Now, students, next equivalent fraction is five by ten. Students, I have a circular shape which is divided into twelve equal parts, and out of twelve equal parts, six parts are colored. Now, students, again compare all these shapes. Are these shapes are equivalent to each other? Yes, all the shapes are equivalent to each other. Now, students, 
6 parts out of 12 equal parts means 6 by 12. Now tell with which number will I multiply if 1 by 2 to get 6 by 12? Yes, I will multiply 1 by 2 with number 6. 1 by 2 multiply 6 by 6 is equal to 6 by 12. Now students, all these are equivalent fractions of 1 by 2. Now students, first fraction is 2 by 4, second is 3 by 6, third is 4 by 8, fourth is 5 by 10 and fifth is 6 by 12. Now students, you saw I multiply numerator and denominator with same number to get equivalent fractions. You already know about pairs. Now we we'll discuss one question later to this. Which fractions are equivalent to 1 by 2? In this, 4 options are given and we have to choose the right option. Now discuss A option. Are these shapes are equivalent to 1 by 2? No, these shapes are not equivalent to 1 by 2. So this is not our answer. Now discuss B option. Are these shapes are equivalent to 1 by 2? Yes, these shapes are equivalent to 1 by 2. Now students, B is our answer and you have to take the B option. In your homework, you have to solve A, B, C and D part of sum number 2 of exercise 3.2. Thank you.